Greetings to all you exquisitely inquisitive ladies, gentlemen, and scholars, and welcome to Physics in the News with J. Allen. In recent physics news, researchers are finding that the universe is expanding even faster than previously thought, around five to nine times faster. This news comes after already knowing for years that the expansion rate of the universe is accelerating for reasons unknown. A few explanations for why this is happening to the universe are either dark matter, dark energy, dark radiation, or dark gravity. The word dark here is used to essentially say that we have no hard concrete evidence that any of this is actually out there in the universe. Nevertheless, something must be causing the expansion because stuff doesn't just do things without reason. Now, of course, the first law of motion tells us an object in motion continues in motion indefinitely unless acted upon by an external force. But that is just it. The universe is packed full of an external force called gravity, through way of matter scattered throughout this universe. That matter ought to be slowing the expansion rate down, giving way to a counter event to the Big Bang called the Big Crunch. However, the reasons unbeknownst to everyone Everything continues to move away from everything else as the fabric of the cosmos itself is being stretched out faster and faster and faster. These new findings seem to rule out any notion that the big crunch will happen. This creates a bit of a philosophical conundrum. The big crunch could give a perfectly natural explanation for why the universe exists. It would tell us there has simply always been something we know of as reality exploding out and then sucking back in. But alas, now we know this universe has zero inclination of sucking back into itself, so what was the external force that initiated the Big Bang? We know that an object at rest remains at rest unless acted upon by an external force, so what was that external force? Is there an internal sentient agent at work here? Or is there simply a natural multiverse that has always existed, continuously popping new universes into existence? Either option is just speculation and equally viable. Personally, I lean more towards the belief that someone created this universe, but I have no way of proving it. That concludes this episode of Physics in the News. If it pleased you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more.